Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. As you can tell from the title, I have my Teddy Bees pre-order and I have a tiny, eeny, beeny little L3 haul. I don't even think I'm gonna include that in the um, title. So I'm gonna start with the L3. I This was from the most recent RTS and I got literally four things. And then I know the pre-order is shipping out this week, so yay. Um, okay. So let me just start with L3. I'll start with these samples. I haven't even opened the samples to be honest. I just got my Teddy Bees yesterday, but it was like 8 p.m. when I got it, which was very weird. I'm on a little break from work, so I'm not gonna like rush, but I'm definitely not gonna take a super long time. All right, first sample we have here is fresh picked strawberries. That's pretty. This almost is like a body care strawberry to me. It's sweet. It is crappy weather. If you know anything about the hurricane that's going on in Florida, um, I did not, like I'm out of the cone or perimeter of the hurricane. Now my dad and brother are like right in the middle of it, um, but they're okay. But I'm just getting a lot of the like rain and wind and it is like just so crappy out. Okay. What an excellent day for an exorcism. No idea what this is. Maybe like a coffee? There might be coffee in that. And then we have Books Amaretto Co Cafe C. This is probably where the, the coffee is coming from. I don't know if that other one is supposed to have coffee in it, but this could have just rubbed off on it. Yeah, this is what I was getting in that. This is interesting with the books and the coffee. I'm not a big coffee person in wax, so. I highly doubt I'll melt that. I'm trying to see what this is. It's like a earthy, woodsy scent. I don't really know. Okay, so first and foremost, I have this pack of fluted tarts that I got in Mike Myers. I realized that there was three. I didn't know if it was a mistake, so I emailed Jennifer and I just said, I'm sure it was a mistake, but I got a three pack of fluted charts. And then I looked on my invoice and there was a note that said, we only had three left, but this is a gift from us. Like they refunded me the amount for the pack of fluted charts and gave it to me as a gift because they didn't, I guess they just didn't have an extra one. So very grateful for that. This is um, cinnamon sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. I love this blend so much. I've had it before. It is like, honestly, one of those just like amazing epitome of fall scents. It's sweet from the caramel apples. You get that cinnamon sugar. It's not like super extreme cinnamon. Um, you get the leaves. It is literally like, the most perfect fall scent. It is so good. I used to, I finished a loaf in this, I think like last fall, but love Mike Myers. And then I got a pack of buns in cranberry chutney, cinnamon sugar, sugar cookie royale. So her cranberry chutney is like a sweet, I almost get like a, like a um, cough syrupy vibe from the cranberry chutney. Now, I have other cranberry chutney in my collection. I haven't melted it yet, but I wanted to get something that was like more fall. Um, I wonder what it's gonna smell like on warm. I really hope that I don't get like that medicinal scent from it, but I got that and that's good, but I'm just, I'm hoping that the 
that doesn't come through. And then I got two scoops. So the first scoop is Palo Santo Vanilla Sandalwood Smoked Vanilla and Leaves. I really wanted these two scoops, so that's why I just threw a few things, a few other things in there. Um, just so that I, you know, I'm not only getting two things. So when I first smelt this, and still, ooh, still kind of the same, I'm getting like a salty sea air. I'm not really getting a leaves or Paulo. Not really sure what that's about. Um, I guess we'll have to see. And then I got Bonfire Bliss Palo Santo leaves. Now this one, on the other hand, is great. Yep, I get that Bonfire Bliss. All of it. I get the leaves, the Palo. I love this one. This one's really good. Um, a little confused about this one. I'm not really sure. I almost want to like dig, dig in, but I don't want to make a mess. Yeah, I'm getting like a salty sea air. I don't really know. Um, honestly, recently in some of my orders, I've been getting things like scents, um, product that say certain scent notes and then they don't smell like it at all. I don't really know if they have like a bunch of people helping them and there's like confusion or I don't know, but I really don't get any of those notes in that. Uh, I was really excited for it, but what are you gonna do? It might come through once I dig in there. It's not gonna be, I'm not gonna be touching this anytime soon anyways, but I guess we shall see. Anyways, that is all I got from L3. Now let's hop into the Teddy Bees box. I haven't even opened the box yet. I know there's always gonna be those people that buy like literally everything off the list. I always have to have a limit. One, because I have so much freaking wax. And two, because I always have to have like a budget. No, I don't really set like a specific budget. Like, oh, I can't go over $80, right? But I still like, have an initial list and then I go over that list again and I always take things off because I'm not gonna go crazy. I have way too much wax to even do that. I don't really know even where I'm gonna store this stuff, but I do pick up things that I know I really love and I definitely wanna get again or things that just sound right up my alley. Um, and that's really with any vendor, but with Teddy Bees specifically, I always do purchase the things that I do want to try like really bad because she only has openings every so often. So here is her thank you card. I love her aesthetic. It's very pretty and neutral and modern. And then we have some tips and tricks at the, on the back. So first initial look is that everything is really nicely packed per usual with Tiffany and Desi and everybody. Um, I have my little sample right on top and this is in Moon Dancer. Saw somebody just talking about this in the group. Ooh, that is very pretty. I don't know what's in this, but it's very like fresh and fruity, girly, almost like body care, body wash. That smells really good. All right, I'm super excited. Let's just hop in with souffles first. Now I'm sure most of the souffles are new to me. So the first one we have here is Jerkaris. Jerkaris. Um, this is warm cinnamon bark, fireside vanilla, vanilla balsam, cedarwood smoke, and hints of blackberry musk.
Ooh, I like that. So I get that cedarwood smoke. I get the fireside. I do get that cinnamon. Um, I do get the vanilla balsam. I get everything and honestly this is really good I would probably do this like a cold uh, like during a colder night um, winter because the the smoke and everything is too heavy for fall I mean sometimes once in a while I will do like a smoky scent but this is cinnamon and smoke and cedar and balsam this is like perfect for winter so I do like that one Okay, we have Balsam and Blooms, Vanilla Balsam, Beach Night, Sandalwood, and Golden Autumn Florals. Oh, I like this one a lot. This is such a good mix on Balsam because Balsam can sometimes be very like in your face, coying sometimes, um, offensive to a lot of people. But this is so pretty. You get the beach nights, you get the vanilla balsam, you get a little bit of floral, but it's nothing like crazy. This is so pretty. This is such a pretty balsam, take on balsam. Um, I really like that one. The Three-Eyed Raven. So I do have some, like a good bit of this in my stash already. This is Palo Santo Sweet Lavender Vanilla Birch Marshmallow Fireside in Cold Air. This is so good. I love the Three-Eyed Raven. Her lavender is so pretty. It's not super herbal. It's just like a creamy sweet on their sweeter side lavender. Um, this is such a good take on lavender. If you don't like just straight lavender, you get the Palo, the Vanilla Birch, the marshmallow fireside it is just such a great blend rainy day crisp apples dewy air fallen leaves oak a touch of lavender and a hint of sandalwood right at my alley oh, that's really pretty and it's really strong so i definitely get like the dewy air Mm, that's so pretty. This is like a, this reminds me of like a, um, like a dryer sheet. Like just like a more like natural outdoor air rain um, dryer sheet. Oh, that's so good. Very, very pretty. Very clean. Okay, we have Khaleesi. I've, the only Khaleesi I've had is the Miss Pour from, I wanna say a few years ago. Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oud Wood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. I know this is a love of a lot of people. I don't know why I'm dropping everything. Let me sit on my butt. There we go. Yeah, this is good. This is like a definitely like a woodsy, smoky, you do get that um, warm vanilla sugar, which adds a touch of sweetness. But you definitely get the oud wood, the fireside, the palo. It's like a, a deeper woody scent. Smoky, a little bit of smoky. That is good, I do like that. Sorry, I'm going through it um, at a faster pace. I know some people a lot of people I feel like don't really like when people stay on one scent for a super long time. Some people do, but I'm just kind of in that mode right now where I'm just getting through it and then I have to get back to work. So, um, we have Michael, vanilla birch, mahogany, vanilla, and smooth marshmallow cream. I wasn't sure about the mahogany. I'm not big on mahogany, but Yeah, I get the mahogany. This is definitely like a men's cologne. It's pretty though. 
it's not too masculine, but it definitely has like a masculine touch from that mahogany, but it's nice. Dark Sister. Bergamot, citrus, sandalwood, cedarwood, sweet and smoky Santal, Palo Santo, and tobacco vanilla. So I'm nervous about this because of the tobacco. Everything else sounds great. Actually, I don't really smell it. A little bit, a little bit, but you get everything else. Okay, no, that's super pretty. This honestly reminds me of like a deeper woodsy perfume. Like a super sensual, sexy sandalwood, smoky perfume with a little bit of tobacco vanilla. Like it's really, really pretty actually. So I do like that one. I'm, I'm impressed. It's fall, y'all. I've had this one before. I just needed it in a souffle. It's marshmallow fireside, sweet cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. This is just one of those fall scents. Like, again, like another epitome of fall scent. Oh, it's super good. It's sweet. Um, you get that uh, leaves and you get the marshmallow fireside. Um, brown sugar. It's super good um, for just like a more sweet um, fall scent. I don't know. Very nice. Okay, let's hop into tubs. First tub I got here is Forbidden Forest. So I know um, some people here on YouTube came up with this um, and I'm so happy to smell it. So this is Pacific Northwest Winter, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fire Set, and Bonfire Bliss. I'm so excited. I love all of these scents. Look at that. So, let me see if I can, I can pop it up, okay. Come on, come on. Sorry guys, I'm trying to pop it. There we go. So the Pacific Northwest winter is definitely the strongest in this. I get like the tree and the woodsiness. I don't really know if I'm getting the other scents so far. Um, I feel like the other scents are kind of just going to be great blenders with it um, because Pacific Northwest winter is such a dominant scent, but love. Snowpocalypse 2021. I love, love, love this blend. I've had it before. A magnific magnificent blend of boardwalk, marshmallow clouds, cashmere, sandalwood, vanilla bean, and cedar. It is just so good. Um, I mainly get that boardwalk mallow clouds first. And then you get everything else. It's so good though. It's such a great mix between like a sweet, creamy, scent and more like woodsy type scents. It's just so good. Harold Fine Hair. I got this in the last pre-order, I think, or RTS or something. I haven't melted it yet, but I really loved it. This is Warm Chestnuts, Smoky Woods, Sweet Vanilla, which is by the fireplace type. Cashmere cedar and frosted sugar cookies. I realized I really like when there's smoky scents with like a sweeter scent in it. And I feel like Tiffany does a lot of these and they're super good. But I definitely get like a more resinous patchouli scent. And I said this the last time, I, it's probably from the By the Fireflies type or the smoky woods, or the warm chestnuts. I don't really know, but I love it so much. And this is so good. It's so good. Almost done, guys. God's Woods. This is one that 
I think I have this in my collection. I'm almost positive I do. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, these are really crooked. I remember looking for this in my collection and I either had it or I thought I had it and I didn't. So this is Palo Santo Birchwood Pine and Vanilla Balsam. I can't remember, but this is again, another scent. Another blend that I um, would is right up my alley. So you definitely get the pine and the balsam first. Oh, it's so good. I love her tree oils. Um, so good. So if you don't like tree, definitely want to get it because that's the strongest, most dominant notes in these type of scents that have balsam and pine. But um, it's so pretty. Like it's, I don't, it's just so good. Okay. Last tub here is Mistress of Evil. This is new to me. Warm sandalwood, vanilla absolute, creme de boom boom with gentle notes of sweet soft smoke. I don't really know why I got this in a tub. Oh, that's so pretty. This is like such a pretty scent. Oh, it's soft, it's like subtle. Um, so I get the creme de boom boom. This is like a perfume. This smells like a perfume to me. Oh, that's so good. This is so pretty. I can imagine this in my bedroom. It is sexy. It's pretty. It's girly. It's perfume-esque to me. Like I would love this in a perfume. This is so so good mistress of evil last but not least i got one loaf i am typically not a loaf person okay uh loaves number one i feel like are too expensive um that's just my opinion you do get a good bit of wax if it's something that you really love but most of the time i'll get like tubs if i really love something and then i'll get souffles if i like something or i want to try something but with loaves, um, it's just a lot of wax and I feel like a tub is more than okay. But I really love this blend and it's something that will last me. So I got House of Dragons. House of Dragons in a loaf. This is Palo Santo Vanilla Balsam, Fallen Leaves, Peppermint, and Hint of Cinnamon. So this is kind of like some of the other scents, but it has that little bit of cinnamon and the leaves, which really make it for me. And this is just, I mean, this is a scent that will just make me happy any time of the year. Um, it doesn't have to be winter, it doesn't have to be fall, but this is mainly like a fall winter scent for me, but I can do it any time of the year. So I did get that, I'm very happy I did. So that is everything that I got from my pre-order. I hope you guys enjoyed, I'm sorry I have to get back to work, but I will talk to you guys all in my next video.